we're trying to progress through the, I guess it's more of like a poison map. I know it was like a, a damp forest. Um, but I was, you guys suggested that, um, or told me that this, I, I kind of guessed that this was supposed to replicate a board, but I think I was, I was looking at it from left to right. I think I need to look at it from top to bottom. Maybe, it, uh, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I think it's from top to bottom, anyway. So, yeah. Like, for example, yeah, two, three, four. They're all attacking up. Right, I think when I was trying to look at it as a board, I think I was looking at it from left to right. That's why it was uh, doing my head in. Right, yeah. So from if it, if it's from top, we've opened uh, three of them just by <laughs> randomly clicking on things. So if we're on the bottom, we need to win. So one, two. That gets cancelled out. Right. That should win, right? Right? Uh, what does that symbol mean again? Oh, I understand. Because this one will attack over here and eliminate this one, and then we're free to do the rest of the damage that way, I think. Yeah, there we go. That should work. No! Hmm. Huh. Uh, I need to remember what this symbol means. Uh, we'll play on for a bit first. Um, I should probably get some more items. I can't remember how many I've got left, so let's do a sacrifice. Uh, we've got a few too many cards anyway, so... Right, uh, who are we? I've <laughs> sacrificed myself. We've not used the Ant Queen yet. Um... It's not too useful. I could try and make the cat a bit more powerful because it's it is undying, right? I'll make the lava more powerful. Let's make the cat more powerful. That could be quite funny. It's me. No, 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 it's not. It's the cat. Oh, we need to get rid of these things as well. Yeah, we've got way too many cards, basically. Could give the cat some utility, right? I'm not sure what that good that did, but <laughs> we're gonna make plenty of mistakes, right? Who cares? Lucky draw. Not really, mate. But he's gonna play three pretty. St oh god! Get your knobbly hand away. So that's gonna do immediate damage, right? Because of that. Um, I should have picked up items, basically, is the mistake I've made here. I think we're going to lose. So when this, whenever this dies, it releases a B, yeah? One power, one health, and airborne. I think that they're going to, the, the kingfishers are going to do immediate damage. So we should do really block them. 
So I'm going to block one with the... I don't, I'm not sure that actually works. I shouldn't have done that, but... Um, I'm not sure that was a good idea to put on the car, but anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, I said, yeah, the pelts do work. What the hell's happened over there? Oh, my hand. We can. Have we always been able to see our hand? Um. Another pelt. Great. Can't use that. Let's just block with the pelt, I guess. No, that's a terrible idea. I think I lost. I don't know how I'm going to do this. No. Uh, because they attack over the top, I think we've lost. Yeah, I made a misplay. I should have put the stoat here. Wow, they're really this guy's really strong here. Didn't get their best draw, but I think I could have done a lot more there. Yes, me too. All oh, right. All right, let's go for an expensive one. Grizzly bear. Um, okay, what does this one mean? Does this mean we get to get rid of a card, maybe? Uh, we get to make a card stronger over here. Don't know what this is, so I'm going to check it out. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You in intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. No way. We could get rid of some pelts. See you later. You sheepishly offered the pelt to the Bone Lord. Bone Lord was displeased. You would receive nothing in return. <laughs> Damn. Okay, didn't realise I was going to get something. I thought it was just an excuse to get rid of a card. This is another boss fight. And um, we're going to struggle here. Me again. And me. Uh, the bullfrog's coming out. And this will block aerial attacks. We should be able to kill him with ourselves, so... block with a squirrel here. 
I think we'll win anyway, so I'm just gonna block. Yep. Here we go. Straight forward. The nascent fawn, it quickly grows into an elk. Yep, I think we've got one of them, right? River snapper and the watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. That would be pretty useful actually. I think we've got we've got one of either both of these anyway, so. Right, I would like some more items. That would be cool, but we've not done this one for a while. Both of these lead to another fight. Whereas this one leads to another bonfire, which will strengthen a card further, right? It gives them more attack power? Is that that's what we did to the wolf card early on? I might be misremembering that though. But I really like having those emergency items. But I'll, I'll choose to strengthen my deck here. Alright, a group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire. Yep, yep, yep. The warmth will enhance its power. One of the survivors did nothing at all. Yep, same as last time. Pick something else. Right. So... I can't even see. read the wolf there. We could make ourselves more powerful. We could make the grizzly bear essentially a one-hit kill on the other side, for the other side. We could actually give the, the, the cat a bit of damage, which might make it really useful. Or we could just pick ourselves. I think we pick ourselves, because... Sack it. The power of the Kefka was enhanced by the warmth. <laughs> As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Boom. Oh, this is alright. This is a fight where he's got a totem. Go go. Lumps. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direct. Yep. So it doesn't even matter at this point. So that will block aerial attacks. The bat and the kingfisher have aerial attacks. We've got a beehive, the ra a rattler which is useless, a wolf and a squirrel. So the beehive is going to be coming out I think. And we need to put it in front of the coyote because the bat and the kingfisher are both going to fly over the top. And the kingfisher is waterborne so submerges, yeah. We can't attack it, we'll attack the owner. Right, so the beehive needs to square off with the coyote. And that's the only play we can really make. Okay. Uh, the bee doesn't need any sacrifices made though. Uh, we need a lot more bones, so I'm gonna pick a card here. So strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Oh, I forgot my notepad. I've got to write stuff down because there's obviously a, a larger mystery at play here. Let's write that down. Uh, the flash, he called it, in inverted commas. Alright, um, so these two are going to get off damage, regardless, unfortunately. What does this do? Loses one power. It's not really going to matter anyway. Did not do damage, which I thought was a little bit strange. This, doesn't this suppose, isn't this, doesn't this block it? Yeah, so uh, the bee can take out the coyote, and the stink bug will block the aerial damage here. Good play. <laughs> Thanks. Wait, 
like that. Why didn't the coyote die? Okay, we're in a bit of trouble here. I don't have enough bones for this stupid rattler. I might... Then I can't sacrifice the... Uh, what's the score? I think we're doing okay actually. We don't need to be too worried, but we need to kill something. Because he can do 6 damage. So I'd need to sacrifice Stinkbug to... With a squirrel, or I take my chances, which probably wouldn't be smart. I think we're going to need the wolf here because the wolf can take out both of these, and it will have some leftover damage to give us a point here. I think because of the spillover, so I think that that makes the most sense. <laughs> Darkness takes me. <laughs> yeah, so he should kill the coyote and the river otter and do one point here. And I think we're currently one point ahead. No, it didn't. We're in trouble. Uh, still haven't got enough bloody bones for the rattler. Have I? Might need to. The squirrel can't block either of these anyway, so I'm gonna have to uh, gamble here. Oh, uh, what the hell does this mean? The value represented with decision will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. So one. I'd have to sacrifice the wolf though. That doesn't seem intelligent. I think I'm gonna lose if I don't. I thought that I was supposed to get points after I killed, but like I thought I would I'd get two points. I think I'm screwed either way to be honest. Yeah, cuz even if I, I sacrifice the wolf and kill the bat, the coyote's going to do two damage anyway, so Okay, that was the right move. I don't think I've got enough bones yet, unfortunately. Oh, I might do after I sacrifice a squirrel. Yeah. The ant's not going to do any damage to him, unfortunately. So we're going to have to get... Oh no, but the rattler's going to do three here. So I, I don't think we're going to lose. I think we... Gamble here. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, it's only two. Oh, perfect! We we're we we're undying as well. So yeah, we're doing okay. Yeah, no need for a squirrel, unless I draw the bear. Perfect. Yes! Oh, we've not won against one of those things yet, I don't think. Oh, 
I'm just going to have a look. Um, right. Strike each posing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Yeah. The one that I wanted to know, uh, re read. Huh. The mirror realm? Bell ringing. It was like one that had points on the top. There it was. Was it? No. It was similar to that. There we go. Sharp quills. Once a card bearing this sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Right, okay. Reginald, these are all like supposed to be, pe I guess, people who've died, right? Rat King, the Dark Souls 2 boss. Right, the tragic Rat King. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. That's pretty useful. And the Mantis. The fervid Mantis. Its praying claws strike both to the left and right. Eh, that's not, that's not too good. I like having these undying cards, just because it's useful. Reginald! It was a female one we picked up last time, right? Kaylee or something? This would be useful because for some of those bone cards that are really difficult to get in play, unless you just keep sacrificing squirrels. I like having these undying cards, to be honest. It gives three... Oh no, we, we need three bones. Okay, that's a bit of a bummer. This gives the four bones. I've got to say, I'm going to take Reginald because we need to save him. I know that's a bit silly, but I'm thinking we might these might be actual people. Yes, though. The, yeah, it's the same spiel. <laughs> Two health. Stop this! I'm going to make myself stronger. I want to be invincible. <laughs> None of these guys want to be stronger, do they? I should spread the love a bit, but whatever. My Kefka is now ultimate card. Boss fight. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Right. The angler. Mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. How will I know? So, Kingfisher, which we can't really do any damage to. I think we might be able to do damage to it when it's on the back row. I could be wrong. Oh, right, we can block it, though. Let's see. Oh, right. I didn't realise he needed two bones. So he's not getting his hook ready just yet, right? Which fish? Hard choose. Right, so he's ready in his hook for the beehive, I guess.
Uh, it's beneficial for us to leave that out, right? So. Oh, right. It means he claims it. <laughs> Didn't realize. I'm going to have to block something. I don't think I can play a card, can I? I think I'm dead. What an inept way to lose. Shameful display right there. I should have used I should have blocked with a squirrel. I thought I might have only had lost four then. Well, I think the flying enemy at the back. So do we start all over again? Stay there, no need to move. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold still. Camera, same as last time, right? Pathetic. You really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera's capable of? Give me that! We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. All of these suck. The cost. Like, how much it costs to bring it out. Yeah. Power and health. Bit of a no-brainer, right? Now choose a card from which we'll extract the sigils. Yeah, I like having a defensive thing on there. Uh, should we change our name this time? Can't even spell. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Okay, that was a shameful boss fight attempt right there. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impaled on the angler's hook like the one who came before. Seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is dealt, so it stands. Wait, what? What? Oh, God. Do I not get to claim these? That's strange. Right, now I'm here, I uh, might as well try and do this. So do we... no. We don't get cards every time. Right, so that's one damage. If this does one damage here, that does one damage there. So you can go back. Same for you. One. Hmm. 
No, definitely not. That should be two. Don't know how I'm going to get this last point. Like that surely doesn't work. So that kills him, does one point of damage, one point, oh, okay maybe yeah, I can't figure it out, because I kind of feel like if that one does one point of damage there then that does one point of damage up ahead right? That one can't even move. Can't figure it out. Unless I'm trying to make the other side win. No. That's not it. This tail thing. Can't figure it out, damn it. Uh, the tail. No, it moves to the right. Right, I don't know what happened with those cards up there. Now, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Bird, serpent, or what the hell is that? A lava? I don't know what that is, so I'm going to pick that. Oh, right. Insect. Do you wish for something else? Yeah, sure. Is this another totem fight? No. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brusquely. Choose. Airborne. Evolves. Or the, uh, the spine things. Quills. All over time's pretty good, I mean. We've not really seen the we've not really got to use any of these. You accepted the woodcarver's offering, it is useless without its second half. But you intuited that this would not be the last encounter with her. Okay. A totem, a totem fight, right? The wolf one is pretty... So we can't damage any of their cards. That caged wolf, he hid that for a reason. The card seems useless, but I think there's more to it. So we can't, anyone that has that, we can't attack. Porcupine, interesting. 
So that's just a tank. So yeah, let's get the beehive out there. It's the only thing we can really do. Unless I sacrifice a squirrel. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. Is it this guy? Shall we? Yep. Now we've got an emergency squirrel, so... I'm going to get that caged wolf out there just to block the porcupine, maybe? I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. No, I will finish. Accept. <laughs> so we can just out squirrel him at this point, right? Breaking out of his cage, I guess. There will be no surrenders. No, thank you, sir. Right, we picked. Oh. Uh... Let's go for a woodland creature. The moose buck. The regal moose, the creature. The creatures of the wild make way for it. 
Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay. They have a weird one. Yep. The woodcarver. So we need to... Oh. Right. Let's go... Serpent? The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The fledgling sigil will now be marked upon all your reptile creatures. Which I have none of. Uh, he's going to move. I don't think he can really, to be honest. But unless he's just going to move here. Nice top deck. Uh, I'm going to need to start scoring points here, so... Yeah, probably. Right, so we could get the moose out here. He's got loads of health, he does three damage. I'm gonna do it. Shouldn't that have. Oh. Never mind. You have me here, I surrender. Alright. Strange, I don't know what this one does, so... Let's uh, check it out. You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. Ye caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If ye can pick a boulder that has gold in it, ye can keep it. Show me where to strike. Go for the middle one. Dagnabbit, no gold. Corpse maggots. But that is a funny looking varmint. Keep it. Uh, corpse Eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Interesting. Right, do we make someone stronger? I think we make someone stronger because we don't really have that many cards currently. Yes. Uh, more health. Right, um, who's not got much health? I think they'll have. The, I think if the wolf had more health, that would um, make it a lot more useful. So, get warm to wary wolf. We'll get out of here. All right, we'll try and get to the end of this map and then. They're going to attack over the top, so we're going to take two damage here, no matter what. Do 
So it is going to take damage from the sparrows and pull it though. So it might be better to keep it alive. But it'll evolve on the next turn anyway, so. Yeah, see? Elder Bullfrog. And then it'll kill the sparrow on the next turn. And some of the damage should spill over. We're already 1 0 down, right? No, it's, it's, we're still tied. <laughs> yep, it's you. I can't really do anything, so... Oh, I've got some tools! Damn it. Right, we can kill the sparrow. Um... So, yeah, let's do that. Every time, dude, you're telling me I'm misplaying. Okay, so I can place that on someone, right? Oh no, that's only for my reptile cards. I'll use this in an emergency. No, oh, I thought that would kill- oh no, it wouldn't kill him. Corpses are in no short supply. Oh, so yeah, the maggot guy's been drawn out. Even when the tree dies, interesting. So we can play the stink bug. Uh, the bullfrog has been reduced because of the skunk. Um, the corpse maggots should be okay because they've got this, right? You can see, do you? The wolf is very strong. I'd like to play it out, why not? I mean, the skunk can't do any damage anyway, so... There will be no conceding. Ultimate disrespect. Fair trap, what does this do again? Most exquisite pelt. Pelt? I don't want any pelt. I don't want it, man. <sighs> Useless. Nonsense. Uh, sacrifice. I can't sacrifice the pelts. <laughs> Uh, but we're a bit, our deck's a bit light again, so let's power someone up. Right, more health. <laughs> Please no! Do what you <laughs> Man, guys, it's more health! What, what is wrong with you? I mean, we need to make one of you more useful. Sorry, mate. Health of the stoat was enhanced. We've got we've got to make them more useful. Well, let's finish things off with the boss fight against. Is this going to be the fisher guy or is it the prospector? This. What? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. Great. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. Chill mist closed in around you. You weren't alone. A figure emerged from the fog. I think this is going to be tough to win, but whatever. Stand in the way of me gold. Be darned. Yeah, the prospector. We've got a rock. He's got the pack mule, which is the key card to get rid of here. OK. 
coyote, a rat, a useless pelt, the smoke, which gives us a load of bones, which is useful. Uh, it doesn't require anyone to be sacrificed either. I'm going to put that here so we get the bones. Do I need to use the beehive? I don't think so. I think we need to let them move forward first. So many bones. Alright, the maggot replaced it, yeah. Right, we've already got a squirrel, so... Mm. That's a shame. Let's block the other one. Can you sacrifice the maggots? Oh, sorry. So I could bring the moose out. I don't know if I'm jumping the gun because we want to get rid of this mule. Greetings! Yeah, we can play him. Uh, but it would be smarter to play the bee, so... Did the bee not damage the coyote? Have I missed a trick there? Okay, I've got an idea. Right, so I'm going to bring out a uh, squirrel and the stink bug, then I'm going to bring the moose book out to tr to do some serious damage to the pack mule. If I can sacrifice the maggots. Then I'm going to put the rabbit pelt in front of the coyote. block with a squirrel, kill the pack mule, thank you, Dagnabbit, right, um, ringworm, a magpie, and an opossum. So he'll take care of the coyote and a bit of the mole. Borrower. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Okay, good to know. So we can bring the possum out anyway. Anyway. <laughs> 
Easy boss. Just pop that mule. I already did. So we can bring everyone out here, really. Well, well not everyone. But... Right, so you can take care of the coyote, friend. You say that every time. Got the super strong wolf, so we should, be... we should win now, I think. There's gold in them cards. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, I think I'm screwed. Yep, I... I get you. Bloodhounds. Order. When a card bearing this sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. Could do. I think I just need to get the bullfrog out there to get some points. Oh, but... Yeah. Unfortunately, that's going to draw him out. Uh, what do I do? We're going to take a hit here regardless, right? I think I'm kind of screwed, aren't I? I'm going to take a two. I'm not going to play a card here. I'm going to let him do his damage and get another squirrel out. So that I can actually do something here. Right, so then I'll be able to get the magpie out and then maybe I'll be able to draw something. Yeah. Do I get a card for that? I don't think I do, do I? What do I do? I, I just don't think there's a good way of doing this. I think I'm I think I've lost. I need a second squirrel to make this work, I think. have any abilities at all. Right, 
Right, Elder Bullfrog will have to do. You do the most damage, so. My last squirrel, oh, I'm screwed. Battle had taken a toll on you, your supply of new creatures was exhausted, starvation began to set in. Hey! I was close, but not now. No. I wasted too many cards on the first first go at him. More gold for you. Balls. I didn't have enough cards. That's the problem. I, I, I shouldn't have picked up all those cards from the room. Yeah. Struggle in here. Come on, they're both rubbish. Ugh, who's who's completely useless and does no damage? <laughs> Dandelion. I know his, I know that's not his name in the translation, but whatever. Prepare yourself, death awaits. Yes, yes, I suck. I understand. Uh, I need to do, I need to do more in the room itself. I think. That sucks. Mad prospect here. Yeah. Right, so we didn't do very far there. Didn't get very far. The stoat, what's up, man? <laughs> His face turned into a tree stump. <laughs> uh, so basically, I understand that what they're saying about there's a, there's a fourth talking card that we need to. Uh, is there anything we can do with this? Is that a trap door? Right, so I've not gotten very far now, and I wasted all the cards that I, that I picked up from those particular places. Don't know what, I'm, what we're supposed to do with that. I don't know how to operate the clock. I blew out some candles somewhere. What do I do with the wolf? Ah. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. Why? Use the knife! Stab him! Okay. Getting a lot of things I didn't have previously. These are all the same, yeah. Still not sure how to do this one, man. Very tricky. And I can't move this one further down. Yeah, 
feels unsolvable. So it's like these these three are clearly in the right position. But There's no way, dude. There's no way. I need the knife. Okay, I need the knife. Right, we need. I need to leave it there. This episode's gone on way too long. So, yes, uh, stagnated a bit there. Um, did pour in a few boss fights, but uh, it's all part of it, right? I've got to just figure this out as I'm going along. Because um, we have to solve things in here as well as win the card games. And I need to consider how to build decks through the map a bit better, probably. Maybe use the sacrifice mechanic to get rid of useless cards a bit better. I, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. have a bit more of a thing. Right. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave me a like if you did. And just remember, everybody, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.